Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the ultimate F.P. Journ Chronomet Bleu Alternative. This is the 2017 66 piece limited series F.P. Journ Chronomet Souverain Holland and Holland Limited Edition. Properly speaking, it's a series of 66 in two flights, one of 28 pieces, one of 38 pieces. And these watches were not just boutique exclusives, they were also application pieces, Patek Philippe style. So exceptionally exclusive and special in that the story behind them is memorable. The watch is 39 millimeters and yes, stainless steel. In fact, stainless steel inside and out, as the dial is crafted from Damascus steel, recovered from a century plus Holland and Holland barrel, and Holland and Holland, they of the royal warrants and safaris past and present, and on the outside, polished stainless steel. So the timepiece, easy to wear on a small wrist. I would recommend it for wrists as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. Only 8.5 millimeters thick with a domed bezel. The watch has a nice constrained 46.4 millimeter lug to lug span with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now the timepiece does feature a custom strap. It's a rather safari inspired, minimally treated, velvety nubuck textured, large rectangular scale alligator leather with savanna tone contrasting stitch. And you can see that it features a matching large rectangular scale on the underside. So whereas Jorn straps are generally gator on the top and bottom, it's generally a small circular scale on the bottom. So even the strap of this one is special. And you can see a quick pull tab spring bar for easy swapping of straps, should you wish to save the special editions special strap when you take delivery. Here's a rarity, an FP Jorn on a factory deployant clasp. In general, Jorn watches, even platinum ones, come with pin buckles, and a deployant is optional. But a steel deployant on an FP Jorn, that is as rare as hen's teeth on a rooster. Now jumping back to the case, you can see it's indistinguishable aesthetically from platinum. Both very white, all of high polished, has that characteristic elegance that marks the Journe Souverain and Octa cases. A little bit of an overlap of bezel and case back beyond the mid case and a fluid mid case defined by the junction of the two lugs with the middle of the watch. The bezel is domed and handsome, but the dial steals the show here. Okay, I need to elaborate. The barrels that created this dial were Holland and Holland museum pieces. They were over 100 years old and two different serial numbers were taken. The watch features both its edition number as well as the serial of the barrel from which its dial was created. The dial is remarkably spare. It features the characteristic swirls and carbide marks of what's known as Damascus steel. We can debate till the end of time whether this truly is Damascus steel in the ancient sense, but it has the look, the feel, the tones, the textures, and the panoply of colors, everything from silver to dark brown that we associate with Damascus steel, and it's stabilized, so you'll never lose that definition. It has a wonderful cream coloration about all of the indices as well as the biomorphic Jorn hands and the dial graphics. Note, no small seconds, no no power reserve, no secondary displays. This is one of the cleanest Jorn dials you will ever encounter. It puts the metal of the barrel on display, making it the centerpiece. Now I'm going to turn the watch over and I'm going to be a little bit coy here because in deference to the original owner, I'm covering up both the barrel serial number from which the watch was sourced as well as the edition number within the series. But you can see that this is a modified Jorn Caliber 1304. Twin mainspring barrels in parallel, 56 hour power reserve. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour and it features a free sprung balance. It is adjusted in six positions and that in combination with the even torque relief from max wind to minimum wind of the twin barrels is why Jorn dubs this movement chronomet despite the fact, and I'm going to give us a bit more light here. Despite the fact that it does not go through the COSC testing process, Jorn claims that this exceeds COSC standards and having tested it firsthand in six positions, yeah, it does. So a big balance that makes up with inertia what it lacks in beat rate. You can see the free sprung architecture and the double black polished screws of the Geneva style stud holder. Uh, Wonderful hidden train, a characteristic of the Chronomet Souverain series. You can see the escapement, you can see the escape wheel and the lever, but you can't see the train that transmits the power from the barrels to the balance itself. So it has a hidden train that's entirely 
concealed underneath the dial side of the movement. The movement in 18 karat rose gold bridges and plates adds a little bit of unexpected heft to this watch, which in steel you might expect to be a little bit lighter. It feels more like a precious metal watch in the hand. You'll note three primary finishes, linear Cote de Genève running horizontally, a Grand d'Orge or barley corn across the base plate, and you will note Holland and Holland engraved into the plate, so it's not a generic movement. It is specifically marked and created for this series. And then there is a engine turning prolage across the base plate just underneath the balance. So you have those three primary finishes and then you have two secondaries. Black polished screw heads and you can see them turning black as I twist the watch through the flat angle flush to the camera and then you can see the mirrored edge of the bridges and the jewel and screw countersinks lighting up. That is the mirrored anglage laid down by hand. A final finishing flourish, the satin grain applied to the barrels themselves. This is a watch you won't want to loop but you will want to loop this Holland and Holland themed timepiece front and back. Holland and Holland literally firearms armorers to the royal family and safari adventurers past and present. Teddy Roosevelt would have been familiar with the like. On the other hand, in pop culture, you might remember Burt Gummer from Tremors referencing 375 H&H &H Mag. Yep, that H&H. &H. See it? Make it yours on the Watchbox.